Greetings and welcome to Expresso Tycoon. Prologue. Underwater. So what is this? Well, there's a PC game that's scheduled to be released next March called Expresso Tycoon. In this game, you're going to build up and manage coffee shops. I mean, you're going to be arranging the furniture, hiring the people, scheduling them, designing the products like the coffees, and making sure you have the supplies to actually make everything. Sounds really interesting. There's going to be a whole bunch of these coffee shops. So what happened yesterday is they dropped this on Steam. It works as kind of a demo, but it contains a tutorial and I do believe a full level, the underwater level. So you're going to have like a coffee shop underwater and you're going to actually try to build that up so it's very successful. So what I thought we'd do is we take a look at this, see if it's something maybe we want to do now or in the future. By now I mean we're going to do the tutorial today because it's actually pretty darn advanced and if there's interest maybe we can do another video on the underwater level. And if there's a lot of interest, come March, maybe we can get this game and we can do a playthrough. But I think we should probably take a look at it first, and that's what we're going to do today. If there is interest in this and games like this, please give the video a like, maybe say something in the comments, and of course subscribing is a great way to show your support. So why don't we just jump into the tutorial and take a look at the game. Welcome to London. My name's Kim, and I'll guide you on how to run the coffee business, or at least tell you what I've learned during the past 20 years. Your first task is to come up with a fun brand name and identity for your coffee company that will attract people and scare away these annoying pigeons. Shh, go away, you stupid creatures. I'm sure you can make it fun for the people, but these pigeons, they drive me crazy. So this is Kim. Apparently she has problems with pigeons and the feeling is likewise. Well, I'm not getting involved in that. So let's see here. Click to continue. I have a to-do list. Okay, so I have to change the logo, the name, the font, the color, and then close the brand window. All right, so let's start with the logo. Oh, I have an idea. All right, let's do this. Okay, and let's see if we can get a nice chilly font going here. Okay, that looks kind of chilly. Why don't we just go with that? And of course, we'll stick with the theme and we'll do blue. I think we're all done. Wow, what a brand. I bet your place will attract customers like bees to honey. Now let's learn how to navigate around the scene. Okay. All right, chapter one, basics. Okay, move around the scene. I believe this uses WASDA here, so this one, this one, this one, and then probably uh, the mouse going like this with the right Great. click. That's how you move around using the strategic camera. There's also a cinematic mode that gives you much more flexibility. Try it. Okay. Show me how. The tab key. All right, so what I have to do is hit the tab key, and ooh, and I'm there. Cool, okay. Well, this place is a dump. Yikes. Okay, how much freedom do I have? I want to go for a ride on the bike. No? All right. Well, I guess we're just going to have to uh, go along with that. All right, so I'm going to get out of strategic mode in order to end this. Great. Now that you're familiar with the camera movement, let's do some actual work. This coffee shop has potential, but it looks like a stinky, dirty warehouse. Let's start by getting rid of the rubbish and these sheets covering the workstations. Alrighty. All right, I might as well do this in strategic mode, right? Yeah, this place is terrible. I'm guessing if I just click on it, it vanishes. If only it was like that in real life. All right, and okay, we cleared away the rubbish. I'm afraid to see what's underneath these sheets. I mean, look at the way it's like smoking green. Okay, I was not anticipating that. Nope. The coffee shop looks much better without all the mess, doesn't it? It still looks a bit neglected though. Let's change that by repainting the walls and the floor. Okay, dokie, sounds like a good idea. Okay, decoration, chapter two. Okay, show me how. Okay, the little chair icon. All right, so let's go to the little chair icon. All right, let's see. Floor. Okay, I found walls, but I also found floor. Okay, what is this? 
this item hasn't been researched yet. All right, so I guess in order to get more floors, we're going to have to do research here. All right, so let's just take a quick look. What do we got? Oh, it gives us a little preview. Uh, no, that doesn't look good. Um, that looks kind of plain. Let's see. That looks kind of dark. Uh, no. Okay, that's interesting. Like a little Starfield thing. And then we have this, which again looks kind of... Okay, the only one I think I like is this one. Okay, that's going to cost 36630 I have 5000 at the top, so I can afford it. Okay, so we got the floor. Now, let's see about the wall. It's got to match our floors, after all. Well, complement, shall we say. All right, let's see. Walls. Okay, I only have four here, and there's a lot here that I can't do. All right, so let's check this out. I mean... That's kind of weird considering the furniture is painted. I mean, if the furniture was like a brown or something like that, it might work. I just noticed it got a lot brighter. Was that the day-night cycle or something like that? All right, what do we have here? Uh, I mean, that's kind of weird there. I don't think that's going to work for me. Oh, now I think that'll work. All right, let's see what the last one looks like. Uh, that looks like a child's bedroom. No, I don't think so. All right, let's go with this one. That's going to cost three hundred and eighty seventy nine. Awesome. It still smells of fresh paint or rather stinks like crazy. At least the coffee shop looks neat and will hopefully attract some customers, although it's still a bit empty. So let's buy some furniture. OK, I'm going to be getting furniture. All right. Two tables and four chairs. OK, where do I want to put them? Hold on a minute. I mean, I guess I could put them like here near the window. Or I could put them over there. But I mean, it's only two for now. I'm guessing we'll eventually have more. So why don't we just start with that? All right, let's get the tables first. All right, what do I have available here? I mean, maybe... Uh, well, that one maybe. Uh, no, absolutely not. No. I think a round one is probably good. I just don't like this one and the, the way the legs are. I think something like this is probably a better idea, right? All right, uh, rotate. I mean, it's round. Why do I have to rotate it, right? All right, so why don't we just uh, put one there, and then we'll put one over here. Okay, and now I need chairs. So let's see what we can do about chairs. Um I mean, that one looks like it's uh, not going to work at all. I mean, this one might... That actually isn't such a bad thing. Although it looks really cheap. That's my problem with that. And the coloring is off there. Yeah, I might have to go with these just because of the coloring. All right. It is a first attempt. And after all, this is the tutorial. This isn't the underwater. I'm hoping more things will be available in the underwater. All right, and then we'll put... Okay, can I fit that there? Yeah, all right. And then we'll rotate, and we'll put that there. Great! Now you know how to buy decoration items. Sometimes you may want to rotate or sell them. Try to do all of that now. Okay, I just did a bunch of rotating. Okay, open the decoration menu, rotate. All right, so we'll just do that again, I guess. Um, uh, rotate. Okay, and how do I... Um, how do I do? Okay, delete key. Delete key. It says it in the middle there. It says press R or F for rotate, delete to sell, and hold left alt to snap. Or we're just going to delete that one. Okay, we have one less chair now. And I think we're done. Awesome. Your place looks nice, but it's still a bit too quiet. Let's put on some music. Music. Okay, add music. Open decoration window, have a jukebox. Okay, so let's see about a jukebox. Um, we've got seats, cabinets, walls, floors, plants, lamps, paintings. I'm guessing special. And there we go. All right, hold on a second. I'm thinking right next to the door would be the best place. All right, wait a minute, can I get that? You know, that step there is very dangerous. 
All right, so I'm going to put it there just so that people aren't blocking the door if they're doing that. But I do want it near the door. I mean, I guess maybe I could have put it there if I'd put the seat somewhere else. But I guess we'll just leave it there because I want people outside to hear the music and come in. You know what I mean? All right, so that we're done there. Okay, closed decoration window. Set music lounge. So I'm guessing... Oh, there we go. Lounge That's music. music to my ears. I love it. Well, in this business, I actually started to like all music, or rather tell people that I love their choice a lot. But I guess the customers won't be coming to listen to your excellent music choice. They'll come to get some <coughs> coffee. So let's create a menu. Okay, a menu. That sounds interesting. Okay, supplies. Start chapter. Okay, add coffee to your menu. Open menu window. All right, where is that? Okay, it's over here. Right, it's right next to the little uh, settings thing. No, that's coffee machines. Okay, that's menu. Okay, espresso. Add espresso to the menu. Okay, and then add flat white to the menu. Okay, it's, um, it ha it's red. You've added two basic coffees to your menu. However, some customers may be a little more picky. They may want to drink something more unusual. Let's learn how to create your own custom coffee using the coffee editor. Okay, that sounds interesting. All right, so open the coffee editor. Is that over here too? Wait a minute. Coffee editor. Okay, so I figured it would probably be there. Okay, so what are we going to call our new coffee? I have an idea. Okay, next step. I mean, espresso and hot milk. Do we have anything else? Because everything apparently requires research. Vanilla syrup. We'll put some vanilla syrup in there, too. Okay. All right. Uh, looks like I can do layers, but it also looks like I don't actually have vanilla syrup. I mean, it's here. Can we do this? And we just do this. Maybe a little bit more espresso there, too. Okay, next step. Okay, base. I guess whipped cream. We could put whipped cream on there. All right. Blueberries. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have blueberries. All right, why don't we just go with that? It looks delicious. Okay, it's good. Okay, the market research. It's going to appeal to seniors, techies, casuals, and tourists. But the, uh, the kids won't like it. Well, I mean, they shouldn't be in a coffee shop drinking coffee anyway, right? And business people and hippies, hipsters, will apparently agree on something for a change. Okay, so save it. And we're going to put that over there. Okay. They're Look red, though. Look at that menu. In order to prepare your coffees, you'll need some supplies. Fortunately, you have some coffee beans in stock. But you're still missing water filters, milk, and takeaway cups. Let's order them. Okay, this is the supply part, I guess. Okay, order supplies. Open supply, window supplies. Where is that? Okay, that's actually at the top of the screen. Okay, then let's go up there and let's look around. Right up here. Water filters. Okay, I see simple water filters. So let's do an order of that. Okay, in three hours, it costs 13 bucks. Instant delivery is $263. So, yeah, okay, you're not going to let me do that, are you? See, I'm trying to select that one, but they're not going to let me do that. All right, so I guess I'm going to be spending a lot of money then, right? Okay, order milk. I'm guessing that's an ingredient? Um, moo? I I'm guessing this is the quality. All right, you know what? We're going to go with the... Uh, the milk the greatest and of course i'm gonna have to do an instant delivery on that yikes i'm going broke with these instant deliveries order takeaway cups so i'm guessing that's going to be disposables right simple cups uh cappuccino we'll do cappuccino and that's going to cost 283 for okay wow the you know i'm very patient now you just have to wait a bit it's the 21st century, so the drone fleet will carry the delivery. In our world, people are okay with drone delivery. You get it. 
Yeah, you know, um, I expect that delivery to be immediately because I paid for it immediately. You know, at that rate, they should actually know. Oh, I guess it did come immediately. Well, hello, how are you doing? Coffee shop's going to be open soon, you know, by the way. All right, let's see. Uh, the cappuccino, the milk, the greatest, and simple water filter. This delivery company was so fast and modern. Drones? Whoa, enough talking. In order to shine in this business, you need to know one basic thing. How to switch coffee bean suppliers. When you first start, people won't care how good your coffee tastes. But with time, it's important to give higher priority to a better bean provider. Try that now. Yeah, I think people are always going to care, especially if it's a new shop. If it's a new shop and they don't really like the coffee, they're not coming back, you know. Okay, so what do we got here? Open the window supplies. Change coffee beans priority to use uh, Dreamway beans. All right, let's just open this up again. Okay, base. Oh, okay, I see. So at the moment, we have uh, Dreamway beans way down here. And wow, that's a big price change there. I mean, can we just like, you know, make it Heartbreaker Espresso? Because that's, that's a big difference in price. But I guess we have to just do this. All right, and close the window. Great. Now you have coffee on the menu and supplies in stock. It seems like you're ready to go, but who's going to make the coffee? Let's hire a barista. Okay, well, I'm going to hire a barista. Employees. Start chapter. Okay, hire a barista. Open window employees. Where is that? Okay, that's right at the top here. So we're going to open up the uh, employee one right here. Okay, so hire the first employee for the position barista. In other words, are you telling me to hire this person? Or are you saying hire your first? Well, you know, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. What are these stats here? Coffee, very poor. Milk, poor. Art, very poor. Speed, fine. So they're quick, but they're terrible at everything else. Yeah, okay. Congratulations. You've just hired your first employee. He will rob you of your money quickly. Now you just need to set her slash his schedule. I'm pretty sure I just hired a her, by the way, just saying. Okay, open window schedule. Where's the schedule? Oh, there it is. All right, let's check this out. All right, so what do we got here? Set the first schedule for an employee in the position, Marista. All right, so... Okay, they prefer to work nights. Okay, but that's the time right now, right? All right, we'll just leave it there for now. Okay, and gameplay. Start chapter. I think chapter. you're ready to open your first coffee shop. Let's do that. Coffee shop. There we go. All right, so let's open up the shop. History is being made here. You've just opened your first coffee shop. Doesn't it feel amazing? I wish I could feel your emotions right now. Anyway, let's sell the first coffee and make some money. All righty. Uh, sell my first coffee. I'm guessing that I don't really have anything to do with that. All right, so we're on the night shift right now. Okay. You're, you're part of history, ma'am. You're part of history. Congratulations. Your first customers bought a coffee. You'll be rich. Well, maybe after selling millions of them. But was the coffee good? Fortunately, you can use the mind reading device to find out what your customers think about their coffee shop experience. It's very important. Each review impacts your rating points. Okay. Okay, click on any customer inside the shop. All right, I'm guessing these are speed controls, and then I can pause it, and I can speed it up. All right, and I can make it regular speed. Okay, so what do you got? No reviews. Negative. This menu doesn't offer any coffee I would order. Ooh, ouch. Now you know what the customers think of your coffee shop. In the beginning, the customers won't judge too many aspects of your business, but it will change over time. For example, they may expect a bathroom in the coffee shop. Do you see that dark room on the left? That's a closed bathroom. Try to open it and see what happens. Oh, okay. 
What, this door? Oh, out of order. Buying the bathroom requires having a coffee shop level of at least three golden beans. What a disappointment. I know you wanted to open the bathroom to your customers. They need to have a place to do their own business after all, right? But it's not time for that yet. First, you have to focus on building the golden bean level of your coffee shop, and then you can solve more and more of their problems. Solving problems brings joy, and trust me, they have so many, even more with each next golden bean level. Let's check the requirements for the second level. Okay. Hover over the golden beans panel. Is that it on the top? Great job. This concludes our initial tutorial. I have to go now to help another person start his own coffee business. I will leave you here, but I'm sure you'll come up with some nice decorations and create amazing coffee recipes, progress, earn more money, get a higher rating, run marketing campaigns, and find a way to get rid of these stupid pigeons. It was very nice to meet you. See you in a few months. Okay, in a few months. That's nice. Okay, and uh, we're going to continue playing a bit. All right, so uh, I couldn't help but notice that I don't have any employees for the shop right now. And yet the doors are still open and we're still, like, open. Okay, please don't empty the register, please. Thank you. All right, so I could skip, but I think a better idea would be maybe to hire more people. Just, just saying, probably not a bad idea, right? Okay, so what... Oh... Today's thoughts. I wish I had more training here. I really like my working hours. My salary here is fine. Just fine. Yes, there was a lot of enthusiasm in that. Okay, I'm thinking we need to hire more people. All right, so we have somebody for nights. Do we have... Oh, mornings. 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 Okay. Um, the art style and the coffee is fine. All right, so you're hired. All right, uh, I probably need... Oh, that one was only six hours. That's a problem, isn't it? Oh, that's the previous... No, that's... Yeah, that's the previous person. I mean... I'm thinking that if I'm going to have like eight-hour shifts, unless I can find somebody to cover a um, 10-hour shift, right? Because I do need to find somebody else. I got a 12-hour? Can two people overlap? I don't think so. Uh, let's see. What do you got? You want evenings. Okay, that's interesting. I guess we're going to be closed for two hours. All right, let's see if we can work out a schedule here. Uh, because I don't like people walking into my store. All right, let's see. Uh, actually, I wanted schedule. Okay, so she's got... To, uh, what, what should I make the hour? I should probably just get... Um, where is it here? I'm thinking that to that. Let's do around eight. All right. So you like mornings. So we're going to start you at eight. And then you. Oh, you're a problem, aren't you? Um, so we're going to be closed from midnight until 2 a.m. That's what I'm seeing. All right. So go. Okay, how is the menu, by the way? Yeah, I still don't have these two. Okay, so I need vanilla syrup, and I need whipped cream. So, in other words, I can't make anything. What does this need? Milk frother. Okay, maybe if I get milk, that'll take care of it. All right, let's get some supplies going here. Uh, ingredients. All right, I have one of those. Maybe I should get some more. All right. One. Okay. Vanilla syrup right there. Let's do the vanilla syrup. And uh, no, I'm, I'm willing to wait a couple of hours. As a matter of fact, why don't we just do this one and wait a couple of hours? Uh, let's see. Wasn't there... Is a topping. Whipped cream. Um, do I want a good one? We'll, we'll go with this one here. And we'll order that. I can wait. Get ready for crunch. A waffle roll. Blueberries. Not yet. I'm not into the blueberries yet. All right. Let me just see how the ingredients... Well, I mean, they haven't arrived yet. 
So I'm guessing they're just going to get dropped over here. But of course, it's not going to be instantaneous because I'm not made of money. Okay. We have a customer. Uh, I'm hoping that she wants espresso. I should probably speed this up. But I am interested to see how this goes. Okay, congratulations. Your coffee shop has met the standards required to be awarded two golden beans. Yeah, they flashed that so quickly, I didn't even see it. You also receive a small cash bonus of $300. Having more developed business is a pleasure, but a responsibility. From now on, the customers will review more aspects of your coffee shop. Uh, to help you with this, get additional means to help them. Okay, and uh, we'll confirm. Okay, not my favorite coffee, but she took it anyway. All right, so I don't know what her favorite coffee is. Okay, I have a challenge coming up in like... Is that hours in the game? That might be hours in the game. 13 hours. Okay, uh, by the way. Okay, neutral. The price was very affordable. Eventually I ordered something, but it wasn't my favorite. Okay. Hey, it was a purchase. That's what matters, right? Okay. Oh, and by the way, it looks like I'm getting an order suggestion for whipped cream. Didn't I do that already? Oh, that reminds me. Did I hear? Okay, what did I get? Okay, this is the vanilla syrup. Customers can't buy the flat. Hold on a minute. Uh, let's take a look at the menu here for a moment. Okay, sewage. Didn't I just get it? I mean, didn't didn't I just get the... Okay, I thought I just picked that up. Maybe it was something else I picked up. Um, milk, the greatest. That was extra milk. Hold on a minute. Yeah, I'm still just... Milk frother. That's a physical device. Coffee... Okay, what is it? Coffee machine? Milk frother, no. Handyman repair? Okay, I see an arrow. And I see something that's got a milk frother. Okay, so that's going to cost me... 300, all right. But that means we'll actually be able to do something that's on the menu, right? All right, speaking of the menu, we can do flat white now. All right, so that's good. When am I, I still haven't gotten the, uh, the vanilla syrup yet. All right, what do you want? Okay, flat white. It was not her favorite, but she bought it anyway. Uh, okay. Hey, don't look at that package. That's not yours. Uh, whipped cream. What happened to the... Okay, wait a minute. Did I buy the right thing? Let's just look at this again. Did I buy the right thing? Oh, no, I do have it. Oh, it was the whipped cream I needed. Okay, so that's good. All right, so does anybody want sewerage? You look like you want sewerage. Buy sewerage. She wanted sewerage to go. Not her favor, but she bought it anyway. Tell all your friends that you came into this shop and bought some sewerage. Okay, can I uh, maybe make something else that might be interesting? After all, so far I have been proven to be a genius. So we'll do buy me because I think that'll look funny in their little bubbles over there. Espresso. It all seems to... I guess basically it's all going to be espresso in the end, right? Let's make a weird combo here. Uh, let's see. Cold milk, and then espresso, and then hot milk. And we'll hold off on the syrup this time. We'll put something on top. Oh, I can put espresso on the top then, too. All right, let's see. Let's put a little bit more espresso in there. A little bit more. That way we got a hot layer, we got a cold layer, and what are we going to put on top? Yeah, I don't have these researched. Blueberry. Oh, you add that to a topping. Okay, and I don't have the waffle rolls, so I guess I'm just going to do whipped cream on top of that. All right, we'll save that and we'll put that. Oh, actually, I have other available now. All right, hold on a minute. Okay, white Americano, we'll do that. Can I have more space? Yes, I can. And then Americano. Yeah, my prices are very reasonable. Very reasonable indeed. 
All right, so let's see how this works out. Okay, I guess we've got those two hours where the store is closed. And we still don't know how to lock doors. Yeah, we don't know how to lock doors. At least we have a very honest population here. But then again, I'm guessing everything is being done electronically, so there's no money here. Of course, they could just carry the coffee maker out, right? All right, can we just skip forward here for a moment? There we go. Our one of our employees, that's what happens when you hire somebody who only work for six hours, you know what I mean? I'm going to be very careful about that in the future. All right, so here we go. Uh, let's just uh, kick it up a bit here in speed and see what we can see. Okay, definitely the graveyard shift, but in the morning it should work out very well. Okay, flat white, not the favorite, but you bought it anyway. That's all that matters. Okay, why was that $22? Okay, a negative. Hold it, hold it a second. Uh, pause. Uh, I can't put my coffee on the table. Okay, I guess I need bigger tables. Uh, this coffee makes decent coffee. The barista doesn't know anything about coffee. Oh, is that because she's got like the... Um, yeah, all right. She, she probably isn't got a high rating on that. All right, the price of the flat white is very affordable. I love the style of this place. Okay, uh, they like the style. I mean, I did that. Okay, sewerage. Not my favorite, but believe me. Hey, buy me, buy me. Or buy the buy me. Okay, I'm going to need more tables. I'm also going to need bigger tables because... He couldn't fit his there. Sewerage! Everybody likes sewerage. It just sells like mad. Who was the genius who came up with that anyway? Oh yes, that was me. And of course we have music playing too. Oh, what do we got? Uh, a new challenge has arrived. Play music, classical, for eight hours. Reward, rating, penalty, I lose money. I mean, that's pretty easy, isn't it? So I'll accept the challenge, and then I will change this to classical. I mean, are they going to give me negatives about that? All right, so let's go. I mean, is somebody going to complain about it? Am I going to see like a negative saying, Oh, you're playing classical music. I don't want classical music. Well, I have my coffee. I definitely... Okay, what just happened? Okay, flat white. I'm guessing we just had a changing of the guard. It's not your favorite, though. Okay, well, what is your favorite? You know, here, hold a second. Tell me what your favorite is. Okay, you wanted sewerage, too. It will be your favorite in time. All right, so I'm guessing basically what you would do is you would build the place up and then you'd start researching. Where is that research? Is there something I can do with that? Customers. Wait a minute. Customers. Oh, okay. I get to save these then so that I can look at them. Okay, they love the style. They like the, the price of the espresso. Okay, so basically I'm seeing they like the style and they like the price. That tells me I need to raise the prices though. Because uh, if everybody likes the price, that means I'm doing something wrong. You know, if everybody... Okay, what do we got here? Oh, I'm running out of uh, the milk the greatest. So can I make two of those? Maybe I should buy like... Because I'm running out of those quickly here. All right, I'll do three and I'll do the four hour. All right. And once again, they want sewerage. You know, I should probably order more of the syrup then, right? All right. Well, when I get a warning about the uh, the vanilla syrup, I'll order multiple because those sewerages are flying out the window, aren't they? Okay, you just want an espresso. Are you sure you don't want a sewerage? Are you sure? It's really delicious. It's got like vanilla in it and everything, you know? And there you go. Okay, and now we're getting a thing about Dreamway beans. Yeah, I, best, I guess better order some more. Yeah, it's kind of important, so I think... Um, I better order three. All right, and let's go. 
Anyway, I think that so far, this is a pretty good look at what the game is. Uh, you're going to be building stuff up. You're going to be getting furniture. Obviously, it seems that this table... Did, did that guy do that? I mean, okay, I have to pick that up myself, don't I? All right, so I'm going to have to look around the store and pick stuff up myself. I didn't realize that was part of my job. Uh, can I hire somebody to do that? Hold on a minute. Employees cleaner i'm guessing eventually we can get a cleaner in here it's just at the moment i'm not willing to pay the uh, salary now am i oh and i guess we had another changing of the guard well it is evening now isn't it and sewerage everybody loves sewerage i want my store to be known as the store that serves sewerage Anyway, I think that's probably going to be it for now. So I'm thinking we got a good idea of what the game is like. And uh, I think I would kind of like to see what the underwater level is like. You know, probably a lot of space and, and underwater. You know, there's actually sharks in the pictures. So I'm wondering how that's going to work. Hey, look, we're creating friends. Oh, she doesn't have space either. So I'm guessing that she's also got a negative one. I was struck by the stink of this coffee shop. Okay, I cleaned it up already before you came in. The barista doesn't know anything about coffee. I can't put my tail... Oh, yeah, okay. Is there more stuff lying around that I did? Oh, there you go. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to have to keep an eye on that. Anyway, I think that's going to be it, like I said. If there's interest, maybe we can do a round of the underwater coffee shop and see what that's like. And like I said, if there is a lot of interest in this, come March, we can get the full one and we can run through it. So I think that's going to be it for now. So thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. And so is coffee. And another challenge. Oh, I got my reward. A higher rating. See ya.